Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about five things that will bring your photography to a new level if you're planning a bike trip. So let's get into it. Number one, the most important thing that you can do is get yourself a handlebar bag. Now, I got this the day before we left on a two-week bike tour, and I think without this bag, I would have taken maybe 10% of the photographs that I ended up taking. This thing is important. Just imagine, you're riding your bike, you can simply hop off your seat, pop open the bag, reach in, grab your camera, and snap off some shots. Now, without this bag, you would have to get off your bike, open up your panniers or your backpack, um, and it's, it's just a hassle. I think being able to flip open a lid and grab your camera out and snap some photos makes it so much more likely that you will take photos on this trip. And if you're bringing your camera along, I mean, you want to be able to take photos whenever you want to. You don't want to feel like you're going to slow down the group or it's going to be a big hassle. So I think having this handlebar bag really was the highlight, the best thing I could have done um, with respect to photography on this bike trip. Number two, put a UV filter on your lens. If you don't have it already, just do it. It's so easy. It's an extra piece of glass. You can get them for five, ten bucks. Slap it on the front of that lens um, and it'll act as another layer of protection. Uh, the reason to do this is because I would take your lens cap off in a situation like a bike tour. I basically left mine in the backpack at all times and that kind of allowed me to tie in with that first point in the ease of taking photographs. Um, when I reach into my handlebar bag and pull out my camera, I don't want to have to then take off the lens cap every time to snap the photo. Um, the UV filter really enabled me to put it in the handlebar bag without so much worry um, that is, my lens will be scratched or something bad will happen. Um, so that extra layer of protection is also an extra layer of comfort in your mind um, to kind of go with this quick access, uh, run and gun type photography, uh, which you might be doing when you're on a tour and constantly in motion. So number three, um, this one is also super important, but it's to get the people you're going with involved. If you're on a solo trip, of course, ignore this point. But if you're not on a solo trip, if you're doing anything with a group, being the photographer can sometimes be a point of friction. You say, hey guys, I want to stop and take this photograph. Uh, maybe your friends want to wait, maybe they don't, maybe they're tired of waiting because it's the 100th photograph you've taken on this trip. Um, the point is, is to ease this tension in the group by including your friends from the get-go. Um, so tell them, hey, I'm going to bring my camera on this trip, I'm going to take some ep you know, epic photographs, um, take some of you, and, and you can also share them with them throughout the trip. So you show them you know, a nice photo you took of them riding on a, on a nice tree-lined path like this one, um, and they'll get stoked about it, right? They'll be like, wow, that's a great photo, um, thank you. Uh, you can really capture memories um, of the trip and share them with your friends, which is kind of one of the, if not, yeah, one of the best things about photography is sharing the photographs. So I think by doing that and, and kind of keeping them in the loop and, and keeping them as part of this photographic experience, um, you can better that experience for, for both you and them. So I would just say include them, share with them, um, and get them involved in that experience. Number four, this is kind of a camera tip here. If you're on a bike trip, you're either going to be probably taking photos of the landscape or of people moving on bikes. And now if you're taking pictures of people moving on bikes, you really have to crank up that shutter speed. I shot at mine over one one thousandth of a second almost all the time because I need to freeze those bike riders in action. If you temporarily pause your bike and your friend is still biking ahead and you want to get them uh, as they're biking, you still need that shutter speed very, very high so that it freezes all of the motion um, that he's taking with him on that bike. So high shutter speeds, uh, I normally don't shoot on auto ISO, but in this case it was essential so that I could have that shutter speed as my priority uh, and let the camera expose correctly. Number five, really simple one, 
take some extra batteries. And a bonus tip for you guys. Um, I already got some questions. What kind of lenses did I take on this trip? So I only took one lens and I would recommend you to do the same. The thing is you want to take a versatile lens. So I took the Sony 24 to 105 and that really gave me a lot of options. I had landscape at the 24 millimeters. Uh, I could do some portrait type things in the middle and at 105 millimeters on the long end um, I kind of had a quasi telephoto lens which was cool and we did see some animals. We saw foxes and deers and lots of different birds. Um, this was a 1300 kilometer bike trip over two weeks through Austria, Czech Republic, Poland and Germany. Um, so it was a really cool trip and there was a lot of cool things to take photos of. Um, having the Sony a7R 3 and that APS-C mode allowed me to then punch in even farther and really get more reach out of my lens. Again, this is one of the reasons I chose the R over the a7 III, which you could see in this video if you haven't already seen that video. Um, yeah, so I would say take that versatile lens. Uh, it wants to be compact, small, um, should be lightweight and it should fit in your handlebar bag because you need that handlebar bag, trust me. Anyway, hope that helped you guys. Um, if you're going on a tour, let me know where you're going. If you need any more tips, uh, I'll be happy to help out if I can. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you now some photos from that trip. Enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done that already. And give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. See you guys. Thank you.